can remember the Bernardo boys or the sun in my class. A trip down memory lane for Betty Wilson. She was evacuated to Dumfriesshire from Glasgow during the Second World War and now she has shared her story in a new museum exhibition. It was a traumatic move for us. It was quite frightening, really. The school there, it was completely different. It was, uh, it was like a big kind of garden. But I was there in my own, and I can remember coming out, and I didn't know a soul, and I didn't know where I was, and I just stood and howled. The Solway Military Coast Exhibition at the Devil's Porridge Museum is bringing South West Scotland's war history to life. Everything from the bombing of Gretna, which claimed 28 lives in 1941, to the exploits of the Flying Aces that were based at nearby RAF Annan. It's a totally new exhibition. It's all singing, all dance. It's very interactive, uh, specially designed so that all, all the family can enjoy it, whether it's children taking part in the interactives or whether it's people listening to the memories of those who did their bit for the country. The museum was helped by £20,000 from the Armed Forces Covenant Fund and it's hoped the new attraction will bring wider recognition to the region's role in the war effort. I think it's very important that we keep alive the memories of the people who served the country in that great conflict and that it's there for future generations. Local people have got to be aware that of the enormous contribution that people in this area made to the war effort. They produced cordite for the munitions, the two huge supply depots which made sure that the troops and all the forces had enough ammunition to fight the war. But for Betty, having her story told in a museum is still a bit of a surreal experience. I feel like a museum piece. <laughs> I said to the family, I said to my two sisters, you'll not believe it, but we're museum pieces now. <laughs>